What's up guys, this is Hexus coming back at you with part 3 of Resident Evil Zero. If you remember last time we fought the giant scorpion, uh, we saved Rebecca from the kitchen room by giving her the, I think it was the ice pick that helped her get out, and now we are reunited and continuing our next roundabout here. If you notice, I'm in a different costume here. Uh, so I think I'm going to switch these up every time I play. Keep it a little fresh here. So the next costume we're going to throw in is the jacket. At least for Billy. And for Rebecca, let's throw on her leathers. All right, let's continue on. All right, so when you get into this car here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just move right on forward. Careful that you make sure that they're down before walking over them because, like I said, Rebecca does take a lot of damage. And you really don't want her taking damage, especially if she's already low like she is now. In fact, what I'm going to do here... Is we're gonna leave some stuff behind right over here till we need it again uh, I'm gonna send Billy and this is another part where you're gonna get separated from your partner uh, I recommend sending whoever has the uh, the most health at this current point in time what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to walk right on over here and right at this open window is where you're going to want to use the hook shot. I'll go alone. Okay. Go ahead and use the hook shot and it'll get you right up back on the roof. All right. Now that you're up here in the rain once again, you just got to move right on forward. And just jump right on down the second you drop down you're gonna get attacked by a zombie be ready for that you don't want to have him eat you there's an extra knife right over here in the corner if you want it um, it's just nice to have I do recommend taking knives only in a jam, though, should you ever use the knife. Alright, so if you also remember, we used one of the rings we found into the briefcase previously. Uh, on the, uh, slotting it right in. Uh, this is the other key, so if you pop this item open right here, just kind of line it up. Go ahead and open it up and you get the second ring, the silver ring. And then... Prepare for a cutscene. All right, so now that you saw that disgusting cutscene, um, the eggs have hatched that were right outside this door in the hallway blocking you from getting in. The leeches do run around now, so you're going to want to be careful. Um, getting them on you while not immediately dangerous, will they will eventually start hurting you. Uh, and they will cause your character to stumble. So keep that in mind when you're running through that area. Alright. Now that we've used the hookshot there, we don't really need it right now. Um, we are actually about to leave the train, so I definitely recommend you take any weapons or any ammo that you, uh, that you want to keep with you, mainly because what happens at this point is any ammo, uh, that's not picked up will, um, will vanish because the train crashes and we end up losing whatever's, whatever 
uh, flammable items are left on the train. Uh, your guns and important items will be sitting right outside the train. You just don't want to lose the ammo. And don't do what I did and drop the stupid ring. I swear I use I use more time with those uh, organizing these items and everything than I do playing the game. All right, so once you got both rings slotted in there, go ahead and open it up. And you're gonna find that there's the magnetic card that we need to get past the next car. So, like I said, at this time, go ahead and do one last sweep of the area. This is the last time you will be on the train. There is no coming back after this. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the car that we use the, the card on after I do my sweep. Dwight. Okay. Alright, and we're back. Sorry about that, folks. I just had to uh, make sure I had everything I wanted off this train. Uh, if you notice, I'm not taking the um, the uh, shotgun with me, mainly because that's one of the key items and it will come to me no matter what. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I grabbed all the extra ammo and everything. Um, so what we're going to want to do here uh, is give Billy a healing item first. And you're also going to want to have somebody hold both the uh, bottle and the gasoline and I know some of you are going to be asking me why well the reason why is you can actually combine gasoline and the bottles to make the Molotov cocktails now you're gonna want to save these that leech creature that we fought earlier I think in the first episode um, they're actually extremely weak to fire and a couple of good placed uh, Molotovs will actually kill it without uh, without causing it to hurt you. Um, if you don't, they do have a tendency to explode. Um, and they will cause massive amounts of damage to you. Uh, so make sure you guys keep that in mind. You guys always want to have Molotovs on you. It's just one of those things that's always nice to have. Now we're coming up to another spot here where Rebecca and Billy are going to get separated. So I'm getting my characters ready for that uh, for that um, transition there uh, what we're gonna do what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that I give Billy the main stuff because I'm gonna send him through uh, the area next basically what happens is we need to stop this train Rebecca's gonna stay behind to hit the brakes and I have to go and uh, put in a code at the caboose where we got the hook shot so let's get this going. The minute you open this door, you will trigger a new cutscene. And so I'll let you guys have that one. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes, Duke. Huh? What happened? Alright, let's go ahead and continue on through. Just go right on through to the, uh, to the main cab here. And then you're triggering another scene.
train will either derail or crash. I gotta stop this thing. Go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. All right. So immediately, this cutscene is going to send you into a time event. We have four, uh, three and a half minutes to get to the back of the train and put in a code to stop the uh, to stop the train. Uh, if we don't do that, the train crashes and we die. Um, so make sure you've saved up to this point. There will not be any time to uh, to go and explore, so this is the final part of the train. Once you come out here, these guys will start getting back up. Just run right past them. Don't even worry about taking them out. In fact, most of the creatures you can probably run past or at least just put down and not waste too much time on. So what are you guys thinking of the series so far? Hope you guys are enjoying this game. I've been looking forward to this remaster for quite some time. Had a little bit of trouble there. Jeez. That'll cost me some time later. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining. The puzzles, there's actually some puzzles to uh, consider when uh, there's Edward. Don't even waste your time killing them, just put them down. Uh, anyway, there's some puzzles to consider when you're doing this. They're basically, you have to put in these numbers, they all have to add up to whatever's on the side. Rebecca's is a little bit more difficult mainly for the reason that um, part of her screen is cracked so you don't get to see how much you're at uh, so you kind of have to do it in your head but Billy's will give you an idea of how to do it so just run straight on through the train go straight to the caboose where you got the hook shot and instead of going to the left to Billy's left go straight over here and here's where we can start the uh... start the uh, puzzle. All right, so the goal here is to match up to 36. So what you're gonna want to do is go not do that. Some fives, some twos, and a couple of ones, and you should get 36 Over. quite easily. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. Now it's time for Rebecca's turn. Now what she has to do is get 67. So what you're going to want to do is... Add up to 67 there.
Rebecca. I'm here. Are you all right? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. We have to find a way out. All right, so quickly dispatch the zombies in here. Uh, all your items that you have left on the train that uh, were retrievable will now be here on the floor. Um, so you're going to want to gather all of those when you can. That door is actually accessible later on in the game. In fact, the fire will be put out a little bit and we can use that to fast travel. So don't worry too much about not uh, not coming back to certain areas. You will you will have full access to the rest of the game throughout this point. I highly recommend taking the hook shot with you. You're not going to need it right away. It is something you're going to want up there. And backtracking all the way back here will be a pain in the ass. So that's something you just want to keep in mind. Just for future references in this game. Go right on over here through this disgusting water and climb up the ladder. And we should trigger another cutscene. The Umbrella Research Center? General Manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-Virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> All right. So now that we got that cheery little cutscene over with, uh, for those that still don't know, that uh, guy who's singing to his little leeches is actually Dr. Marcus. Uh, we'll learn more about him as this game unravels. Um, those two that were watching the video, though, those were two characters, uh, one of which you might be familiar with if you watched my last series. One of them is Captain Wesker of the Stars Alpha Team. He is an agent for Umbrella, and if you're watching this one, you probably already know that. The other is Dr. William Birkin. Uh, he's one of the main monsters in Resident Evil 2. He's actually the big monster that, one of the big monsters that chases you around throughout the game. Uh, and you'll learn about him in number two. But basically his work is based off of the work Dr. Marcus did here. And, you know, everything kind of falls like dominoes from that point on. So what you're going to want to do here in this room is immediately save. This will now be your main hub. I use this as my armory. Uh, and like I said, I will explain 
all of that. Basically, what I do uh, with the game, with the way its uh, items, uh, its item oh, system no. works, yeah. is I usually leave items in certain rooms just in case. This is the center room throughout the entire house. Um, this house isn't as big as the mansion and we'll be done with it fairly quickly. Not quite as quickly as I would like, but pretty quickly anyway. Uh, I use this main room to store weapons and key items. Um, again, you don't have to do this. This is just something I do. Uh, shotgun ammo, stuff like that. All my extra weapons and ammo end up coming here. Just so that I can know exactly where everything is. Healing items I tend to store in this room here, which is the dining room. You will have to clear it out a couple of times. Um, and this room over here, I end up storing just whatever I can that I can't fit in here. Each room does have an item limit. I believe it's 15 items depending on their size. Uh, so keep that in mind. You will not be able to store everything in one room. Uh, but again, these are just my methods. This is just something, you know, for you guys to think upon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save, actually, and wrap this video up and get work get to work on the next video for you. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. We are now outside of the train, and uh, this is where the, where the next part of the game will take place. There's about four areas, and I think... I think there's four or five areas, and we're done with one now. So uh, we've still got a bit of a way to go, um, and I will be posting more videos uh, soon here in the coming days. Uh, I am aiming for one video a day at least, uh, two if I can manage it, uh, but we will see how that goes. So go ahead and save here if you're following along with me. If not, uh, go ahead and keep on going, and I'll uh, post up the next video as soon as I can. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and save. Once again, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter if you want to. I'm going to drop some information down here in the description of what we've covered here in the game today. Uh, as well as some bullet points of key items in there. Uh, leave me comments if you have any questions. Uh, I try to answer as many questions as possible. Um... Give me something to talk about, guys. <laughs> I uh, only reason I didn't talk too much this episode was I just drew a blank and had no idea what to say today. Uh, so once again, love you guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.